Greetings YouTube, my name is Inquisitor Azan Onovalip and welcome to my channel. <coughs> Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. Uh, this is going to be a, <coughs> excuse me, a update video. I'm just going to run my mouth for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to ramble. Or. <coughs> just say some random stuff, I guess. <sighs> Let's see. I started. As you guys may know. Or may not know. Um. <coughs> I started on my booklet of of uh, big budget shooters or whatever you want to call it. I wanted to do those first before I get in t before I got into uh, all of the regular budget or just you know regular <coughs> uh, shooters for the Xbox 360. And I actually started on on that a long time ago or a few months ago with the Halo games. I meant to keep going with the Halos and with the Gears of War games and <coughs> with the Call of Duty games. But I kept getting sidetracked. But I eventually came back, and like I said, I have a booklet of stuff that I consider big budget stuff, uh, games or whatever, like Battlefield and Call of Duty. <coughs> And I must say, out of all the budget, I mean, out, out of all the you know, big budget or triple A games, I think I kind of prefer prefer the Call of Duty and the Battlefield type games over the Gears of War <coughs> and the Halo type games. And I sort of predicted that <coughs> once I started doing those games, I'd, I'd fly right through them. Because a lot of them aren't too long, and they're somewhat they they're pretty challenging, but most of them they're not really that long. They're <coughs> pretty short experiences, and for the most part, I was right because I I cleared all of the Call of Duties for Xbox 360, except for Call of Duty Classic and Call of Duty Black Ops 3. <coughs> Classic got on my nerves. Black Ops 3 doesn't really have a single player. It has a co-op campaign, campaign, but <coughs> I don't know if that's I don't know if that's if that's available or if that's if you're able to play play that if you're able to play it cooperatively offline, like couch co-op or you know sitting right next to someone. Probably not. You probably have to play it online <coughs> with someone. So that what I didn't do but I, I knocked out all the Call of Duty games in like less than two weeks and I'm working my way through the Battlefield games and uh, I just prefer <coughs> I think if I would have been the kind of person that would have bought those games as they came out I would have probably I don't know like if I, if I was the kind of person that bought those games when they first came out and also was the kind of person that was into multiplayer, then <coughs> excuse me, then I don't know. I think multiplayer, I probably wouldn't have cared. I, I'd probably just played everything, you know, Battlefield, Halo, and, and Gears. But single player, <coughs> excuse me, like if I was the kind of person that bought those games when they first came out. And I didn't really care about the multiplayer. I'd probably lean more towards the Battlefield and the Call of Duty type style games because <coughs> Halo is okay. It's okay. It's not all that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's actually not really. It's better than I thought it'd be. Some of them were. I weren't really expecting them to be bad anyway. <coughs> I didn't finish all of my stuff to finish part four. 
no matter how good certain ones were, I just kind of got tired of it. Even though Part 4, I'm going to say, is probably the best one. So, <clears throat> I can definitely see myself coming back to finish that game. Or to re-let's re play it or whatever. Uh, and yeah, I think it's in terms of, like, gameplay. I would have I would have geared towards the Call of Duty and the Black uh, the Battlefield games because I have a problem with sci-fi shooters <coughs> sometimes. My logic is when it comes to shooters, a headshot should be a headshot, no matter what. No matter what. No matter, no matter what. <coughs> you know, a headshot should be a headshot. Yeah, I, I know that sort of makes no sense, but you have enemies in the game that have power armor or uh, shields. And so, yeah, so you, so you have you have games, or you have enemies that have, like, shields, or, you know, like, shields that you have to wear down before you, before you can, uh, destroy them, or, or, or uh, you know, do any proper damage to them. Then you got certain enemies, like the little grunts, those, those really tiny, short enemies, that don't seem to have it at all. Those guys can usually go down with headshots. Um... The other guys can't. You know, they uh, they can't go down so easily. But I don't I don't like that right there. I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, I, I get that it's a sci-fi game, but there has to be some sort of rules. You know, like even when you watch sci-fi, when I watch sci-fi movies and old sci-fi TV shows. Most of those mo uh, creatures well, the older sci-fi stuff, not so much the new stuff, but even in a good sci-fi movie, like, creatures aren't immune to headshots, like the xenomorphs. A headshot, it should be a headshot. I mean, it may not kill them right away, <coughs> or instantly, but, come on, come on. If you hit a predator, well, you know, without, without his armor on, in the head, he's, even if you, if you hit him with a, you know, with a, you know, high enough caliber weapon, he should be dead. There's no shooting enemies like I don't know. I understand. I understand that it that's sci-fi. And some games it's okay. <clears throat> but I I hold Halo under a very specific light because so many people out there think or claim it's a masterpiece and and all this other stuff. And that that that, that game, that first game, Halo Combat Evolved. I take that very seriously. I'm like, Combat Evolved? Like, what? <laughs> How's it an evolution? <laughs> because the enemies have, like, shields? Like, how's that? What? It makes no sense. When you gotta, you know, shoot enemies so many times, you know, to, to get to, to, uh, to take them out. That makes no sense to me. Because. <laughs> When I hear that combat evolved, combat evolved, I think, okay, so this is, you know, it's, it's going to be like, <laughs> I think of it in terms of video game combat, and I'm just looking for things to make to make sense, like on a fictional or a video game level, and most times they don't. They like. <coughs> <coughs> like an evolution like combat evolved in my opinion combat evolved when I think of that I don't think of 
having to shoot somebody more times or shoot an enemy more times than you would have to shoot them in an average game. I don't think of that as an evolution. It's not. You're basically just making certain enemies mini bosses or mid bosses. It's, that's not an evolution of combat isn't having to shoot something so many times or or wearing out certain shields. <coughs> just to destroy them. That's not an evolution. It's a cheat. You know? In this game, you gotta shoot this guy with a shotgun or whatever seven times, whereas in your in your average shooter, you shoot somebody with a shotgun two or three times or once and they're down. It's not, it's not an evolution. And the, the, <laughs> the level design damn sure isn't an evolution. Like, you look at like the way these those levels are designed. They look like, they look almost like a uh, those arenas from uh, American Gladiator, like it's just a bunch of like blocks and squares and just little, just little, just rubble everywhere. It's just oddly shaped rectangular objects just lying around, and certain buildings or certain parts of the level you can go underground and then come back up above ground on the other side. It's not combat evolved. It's not an evolution of video game combat at all. It isn't, and I just think when it comes to shooters, even with sci-fi, a headshot should be a headshot. Period. No matter what, <clears throat> anywhere else, the chest, legs, okay. You know, maybe you have to put in a little more work, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no life. <laughs> I have no life. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm. Uh, I'm just you know. I'm, I'm talking about this. No one else really cares. Uh, what I consider combat evolved would be. Um, <laughs> there's some. There's a game. There's four games. I think of. There's Shadow Ops Red Mercury for the original Xbox. And these are all, are all sixth generation games. There's World War II Combat Rules of Berlin. And there's World War II Combat uh, Iwo Jima. And then there's Combat Task Force 121. I like that. <coughs> In a way, it's combat devolved, I guess, because you don't get any health packs in the game. But <coughs> and that game, that game offers a very particular challenge, <coughs> and it's very simple, just like in real life. If you can shoot the enemy before they shoot you, if we can get the drop on them, they're dead. Period. It's no sneaking up on the enemy. And shooting them, then they run away, and you keep shooting them, then they take cover, and they keep shooting. No, if you can spot the enemy before they spot you, whether it's in an open area or whether it's in one of the corridors, <coughs> you win. Period. There's no bosses in the game. There's no special enemies. If you can shoot the enemy before they shoot you, especially in in a vital area, you have the advantage, which is something Halo cannot say. Gears of War cannot say. <coughs> That's what I like. It's kind of tough because you don't get any health. You, like The health you lose, which I, I, I love, you know, the health you lose it can't be restored. Now, now all those games that I mentioned they all have a lean feature. I love that right there. That's probably an old as dirt feature. <laughs> but Halo Combat Evolved doesn't have lean a link feature. I thought this was combat evolved. I thought, I mean, come on. <coughs> and sometimes it could be tough, but like, with well, those games, I found it like, at least with me, just when I get to the point where I'm like, <laughs> I can't go any further without without health. You know, just when I, it's like almost just when I'm wanting the level to end, the level ends, and I'm like, perfect. That's combat evolved. 
Also, the game utilizes <clears throat> a two weapon rule. Something that Halo does, which I definitely, definitely don't like in Halo. Because in, in, in my, my two weapon rule, I made this rule up, I thought of this rule after playing those four games I just mentioned. And those games, your your handgun, your pistol, or whatever, is just as deadly as your main weapon, whether it's a shotgun, a assault rifle, whatever. <coughs> you know, you could go around killing everybody, killing everybody with your handgun, as long as you get the right angle on, as long as you get the drop on, as long as you can shoot them before they shoot you. <coughs> That's what I like. That's if you're gonna make a game that restricts you to using two weapons, they need to make each weapon equally, you know, dead deadly. That's that's what I think, and that's one thing about Halo. No, you can't do that in Halo. <laughs> that's one thing about Halo. You have two weapons, <clears throat> but you know they're either both good or one's trash and one isn't. You can't go. Go around killing everybody with your handgun. <laughs> I mean, you probably could, but you'd have to do something extremely out of the ordinary, like play in a very, very, very unorthodox way. You know, you, you got to sort of, you know, bend over backwards to to beat to, to beat the game or beat most of the enemies like that. And the world and the combat games. That's just a regular thing. You have your handgun, you have your shotgun, whatever. And I've also let's play all four of those games, so check them out if you want to, or don't. It doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> um, Gears of War. I started playing part one, or let's playing part one a long time ago, like a few months ago. And I was enjoying it for a second. And I enjoyed it so much, I was like, let me put this on pause. And let me go back to play a game that I gave up on. Or just went back. So I went back to, to Let's Play. Uh, I went back to Let's Play. Went back. And I actually started to really enjoy it. <coughs> I felt it was impossible the first time I played it. But I started to really enjoy it. A lot. <coughs> And I ended up completing it. And I, I completed it. And I went back to Gears of War. And I just... Eventually I, I got stuck and frustrated with Gears of War. I don't like Gears of War. That's a series that I've decided to not let's play on my channel. That's in my big budget fold, uh <coughs> binder. But I don't like... A lot of people like that game too. Some people call it... Gears of War a masterpiece and it, and they say it's like one of the best cover based shooters I don't like that right there my rule with cover based shooters yeah, the whole point of cover <laughs> in my opinion is to protect you from being shot or protect you from being fired on and in Gears of War It's a sci-fi game, as you guys know. In Gears of War, an enemy can be behind cover, and you can be shooting at them, hitting them, and it's not really effect it's affecting them. But you you have to do it more than once. Like when I was left playing it this one uh, a while ago, I was shooting this enemy because <coughs> he was behind cover, but like I could still aim at his head a little bit and his shoulders. And I'm sitting there just lighting him up, hitting him in his head, his shoulders, head, his shoulders, head, his shoulders. He gets up from behind cover. I guess he's frustrated at this point. And he runs from that piece of cover to another piece of cover. I'm shooting him the entire time. Now, every shot is Atlantic, but most of them are. I'm, sh I'm lighting this guy up while he's behind cover. He gets up, and then he runs from that cover to a new piece of cover. I'm still shooting at him. <laughs> and he gets behind that cover. I eventually kill him, but I'm like, you can't, you can't call this a cover-based shooter. Just because you can take cover in a game doesn't make it a cover-based shooter. Back before, back before, 
there was a cover base back back before there was a cover mechanic and shooters enemies could take cover <clears throat> you know the AI could take cover but the player couldn't or the user character couldn't does that make them cover base shooters no and the old James Bond games like the ones on PS2 Nightfire Agent Under Fire the enemies take cover you can't take cover does that make them a cover base shooter no no <coughs> You know, like, in a, in a cover base shooter, my biggest rule or pet peeve is in a cover base shooter where headshots are, are, are just dismissed. Anytime you have a cover base shooter and headshots don't mean that much, it's not cover based. It's not because, again, you get hit. You get hit the enemy in the head, you know. But they're so the enemies in that game are so huge and hulking and so bulky, it takes a few shots. When headshots don't matter all that much in a cover base shooter, it's not a cover base shooter. It's not now. If you have a sniper rifle or some sort of special weapon or some sort of really, you know, particularly powerful weapon, then yeah. <coughs> You'll kill them. But most times you just have regular shotguns and machine guns and assault rifles or whatever. And it takes a while, at least a few seconds, to shoot when you shoot, when you shoot something in the head. Maybe not. It, it probably doesn't take so much time with a shotgun to kill them. Well, like, it's bad enough, like, <coughs> excuse me, when an enemy takes cover and you're shooting at. You're shooting at the limbs that are exposed. It's bad enough when that doesn't do much damage. But when you can line up a few headshots and that doesn't even kill them, you're not a cover. Base, you're not a cover base shooter. You're not cover based. No, you're not. You're not tactical. You're not cover based. You're not strategic. You're nothing. You're, not, you're nothing. And I could slog. I, I could really slog through those games and just and just play them and play them and play them and, and so I beat them. You know, like uh, let's playing or whatever. But I don't feel like putting in the effort. I do not want to put in the effort that, that game is asking. I thought about skipping that the first one <laughs> and just doing two, three in judgment. But I was like, I don't know. I felt like we actually just the game. Uh, now for just some ra some random talk. Uh, I just finished Battlefront, uh, not Battlefront, Battlefield, Bad Company. Way better than I imagined it be, uh, to be. That game did something very unique that I wish the other Battlefront games would have did, and or the, I would th that I wish the following Battlefield games would have done, and that is <coughs> the game. You can only carry one assault rifle. I think you can only carry one weapon. Period. I have to check, but you can definitely only you can definitely only carry one assault rifle. And I loved it. I loved. It. I don't know what it is about that game. I don't know what it is about that game. I've never appreciated. Rarely have I appreciated. The echoes from firearms as much as in that game because those weapons are so freaking loud they're loud <coughs> and they feel powerful and all of the levels mostly like yeah all of the levels are outside and you can hear when you can hear like the echo I, you know I'm not going to make the echo noise okay I, I made the noise but <coughs> I love that right there. Those weapons, it is feel <laughs> they feel great. They feel really great. I mean, they feel really great to use. Like, and it's just really satisfying just to just catch an a, a, an, an enemy when he's slightly not aware and just it just mow him down. <laughs> it's just it's, it's it's great. It's beautiful. I like that right there. I like that a lot. Um, hmm. I started playing Naval Ops games by Koei. 
Naval Ops Commander, Naval Ops Mushroom Gunner. <laughs> I'm working my way through part one. I'm not, I'm not let's playing it. One day I probably will. But, uh, yeah, that's a whole other level of satisfaction right there. Playing a shooter where you have to build your own, you know, uh, you have to build your machine or whatever from scratch, or not from scratch, but from the ground up, kind of like Armored Core. So that's pretty neat. Um, I love the cover system and Headhunter, and both of the Headhunter games, Redemption and and the the other Headhunter game, the port from Dreamcast. <laughs> That's a game, the first one for the PS2, that, that, the one that support, the one that is a port. Uh, that's that game. I don't know what to do with it. I love that game. I hate the motorcycle parts, but I love everything else about it. But my capture card, <coughs> I guess since we're not recording in HD, I, 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 when I... When I do when I do PS2 Let's Plays, I use the component cables. That there's something about that game that makes my capture card stop all the time. Cause like my capture card will stop if there's a change in the output resolution. <laughs> like if I'm playing a game <clears throat> and the cutscenes look drastically different, you know, graphically or whatever, then than the actual graphics or whatever during gameplay. If if it's too much of a shift or and or whatever, my capture card will stop and it'll say, "Up, oh, output output resolution has changed. Please hit record to continue recording." The problem with that is when it tells when it tells me that once you hit record, it doesn't continue recording. It starts a whole new recording and. I don't like that right there, because a lot of times, I like, I may start a video. I like my videos. I like my videos to be at least 30 minutes, and I'll start a video, and it may be like 15 minutes in, and then there's a cutscene or whatever. Up, output resolution has changed. Stop recording. Yeah, resume recording. So, so, yeah, so I hit record, but then I got one 15-minute video here that just stopped, you know, abruptly. <coughs> And then I got another video that's 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 whatever you know, <laughs> whatever duration I decide to make it. So I was angry about that. I really wanted to have that game. Let's play <clears throat> the other game, Hit Hit Hunter Redemption. I don't think I'll have that problem with that game. I didn't want to let's play Redemption without let's play the other game. But what can you do? What can you do? I had the same problem with Deus Ex for the PS2. I'm loving that game. Loving it. But it's the same thing. Not with the cutscenes though, but like with the outdoor environments indoor envi and the indoor environments. Like sometimes when I go from outdoors to like an indoor level, my capture card will stop up. Oh, output resolution has changed. And I'm like, come on man. Come on. I don't know what to do with that right there. I'm really disappointed about that because I finished the one on the Xbox, Invisible War. I wanted to have them both. I was planning on doing Invisible War in the PS2 version and then Human Revolution for 360. I don't quite know what I'm going to do yet with the PS2 version. I don't know. My freaking capture card just goes crazy if 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 the graphic, if there's too much of a drastic change in the graphics or the output re output resolution. So, I'm not exactly sure what to do with that. I gave up on the Tomb Raider games, as you guys may or may not know already, but I decided to come back to those one day, and I decided to buy the games I'm stuck on are Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Anniversary and Tomb Raider Underworld. So I decided maybe I'll, I'll buy some strategy guides. So I bought the strategy guide for Underworld. It's coming. 
and when I get some more money, I'll buy the strategy guide for anniversary. Because I've, I've, I've already let's played all of the Uncharted games, and I wanted to have the Uncharted games and the Tomb Raider games. So, hopefully, hopefully, when I get the strategy guide, I'll get back to work, and hopefully, I'll have better success this time than I did before. We'll see. <coughs> And that's about it. Uh, this game you see here is Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. <clears throat> I finished Battlefield Bad Company and Battlefield Bad Company 2. I'm on Battlefield 3 right now. I decided to stop for a second with that game and just play this one real quick. I know they're not really connected. I don't think they are. But I forget it has Battlefield in the name, so it's probably part of the series. I'm sure it isn't part of the same storyline as the other Battlefield games, but I figured <laughs> it has Battlefield in the name, so let me just go ahead and let's play this one real quick and then get back to the other Battlefield games. <coughs> and that's about it for now. I, I wanted this video to be shorter than it actually was, but oh well, stuff happens. Maybe I'll make another video after this but right now I'm going to start let's playing not now well after I, I finish this recording <coughs> I'll start let's playing Battlefield 2 Modern Combat and get that out of the way the game is 20 levels so oh well anyway you guys that's it for the update uh, be careful out there stay safe uh, try to protect yourself as best you can from this, you know, virus that's floating around. And take care. And I'll see you guys back in Let's Play Land or for my next Let's Play.